take a look at this last one. Okay, so now we're, we'll take that same concept, okay? So now we've been pretty lucky, right? We've dealt with vertical lines. We've had, um, you know, 60, 30, 90 triangles. We had 45. And the question is that, well, what happens when, uh, you know, when, when it's not an exact value, okay? You get negative 85. Well, that's where our nice little equation tangent theta equals y over x comes in, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out this, and that, of course, equals our slope. Okay, so we know this is negative 85 degrees, so that brings us all the way down here, right? About like this. And we see that there's not really any um, special triangle that can help us out now, and there's not even a unit circle that can help us out now. Okay, so what do we do? Let's do y over x. So I'm actually going to plug in the value. Tangent of negative 85 degrees, right, equals y over x. Okay, now that happens to come out to negative uh, 11.4, okay, and this actually becomes our slope, m, okay. Now two ways we can look at it, we can take this uh, equation and we can say that multiply both sides by x and we get our value y equals negative 11.4 times x, and this, will, this is our equation. Or we can simply say we have a line with a slope of negative 11.4, which again would give us y equals mx, the, the uh, y-intercept is 0, so y equals negative 11.4x, okay? And sure enough, we have this line, right? And it goes up this way, okay? It goes in both directions because r can be negative, right? So we have a line, and this slope looks quite steep, so negative 11.4 uh, seems to make sense, and that becomes our equation of... Uh, of this, uh, this particular polar equation, this is the linear equation, linear uh, uh, equation of this polar equation, okay? And uh, that simply, is, simply gives us a line of slope negative 11.4. Okay, so this is a different ways that we've, um, uh, we can use this, uh, these polar coordinates. Um, you can, you'll see in later lessons that, that the, the applications are, are really quite interesting. We can create some really pretty crazy graphs, uh, and, and uh, it allows us, uh, um, um, it, it allows us to work with, uh, um, uh, with, as you would imagine, uh, curves a lot more. Okay, so a lot of the graphs you'll find are very, very curvy and very, very interesting, and actually, interestingly enough, are uh, things that you find in nature quite a bit. So those are in further lessons, so hopefully you'll uh, check them out. And um, if, uh, if you're in pre-cal right now, uh, you will be expected to uh, learn how to draw a number of these graphs. Um, and just based on looking at the equation, you should be able to, uh, you should be able to come up with some pretty, uh, pretty nice looking graphs. So those are the further lessons, but that's how, this is the basis for polar uh, coordinates, um, how to convert back and forth and how to convert back and forth between these and, uh, uh, and rectangular equations. And, um, and uh, so that's, that's what that is. So uh, thank you very much for using educator.com.